Fans, we're down now to the final five of the top 60 legendary moments at Dodger Stadium, presented by Budweiser, as voted by you, the fans. This is number five. As the United States was celebrating its 200th birthday, the bicentennial, and harmonic convergence took place, where the stars and circumstances were all in alignment on Sunday, April 25th, 1976. The Dodgers were hosting the Cubs. The Cubs center fielder was 31-year-old Rick Monday, a Marine who grew up in Santa Monica. In the bottom half of the fourth inning, with Monday in center field, a father and his 11-year-old son ran onto the field and attempted to burn the American flag. But Monday, nearby, was not about to let that happen. I'm not sure what he's doing out there. It looks like he's going to burn a flag, and Rick Monday runs and takes it away from him. I think a guy was going to set fire to the American flag. Can you imagine that? Someone asked me if, if it bothers me at all to have played 19 years in the majors, and does it bother you more to be known for something you did on the field, but it wasn't baseball? And I said, that's not a bad thing to be remembered for. But bigger than what I did, is it's our country. And to me, that's important. After the game, I requested, I asked if I could have that flag. And when the Dodgers came into Chicago to play the Cubs, Al Campanis presented me with that very flag. But the, the entire irony is, is the very symbol that they were attempting to desecrate that, that day is still active because uh, we still have that flag and we're, we're fortunate that, that we've been able to raise a, a lot of money for charities that, that have helped military families. The very next year, Mo was traded to the Dodgers for whom he played through 1984 and has been in the radio booth for the past 29 years. Rick Monday's great play, legendary moment number five. 